Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Well, we have several stories to cover today. Um, yes, I saw the above picture. Yes, I loved it. Couldn't resist. Sorry about that. So we have a lot to cover, so let's just get right in there, shall we? So quick recap, remember she had this diamond that she was wearing on her pinky ring, which came from the Middle East. And she said that it had come from a stylist on the shoot. She'd never seen it before. And then all the pictures popped up showing her wearing this ring actually for several years. Well, their um, spokesperson turned around and did a complete about face. So after um, they claimed that the rumors of the mystery donor were false, the couple clarified, I'm air quoting, they clarified they were talking about the diamond on her right pinky finger and they decided not to address the actual ring in question. Therefore, we all know that she's hiding something and it was just a bunch of bull, bull hockey. Now moving on, let's go on to some good news. Princess Beatrice and her husband had a baby girl. I just think that's so fabulous. Personally, I'm showing this engagement photo because I think it's just so nice and natural. We all know that they had a very private surprise, essentially, to everybody wedding. Um, due to COVID, personally, I think it's because they didn't want their wedding upstaged by Ginge and Cringe. But okay, they had a fabulous wedding. And I just thought she was a glowing pregnant woman. Not everybody glows when they're pregnant. I sure as hell didn't. Um, I was one of those pregnant women that just couldn't wait for the pregnancy to be over. And it was miserable and I was unhappy and it was just terrible. But she was just glowing her whole pregnancy. The palace put out the official announcement. And I noticed the wording. I always noticed the wording because this wording in these for her and for Catherine was different than Megan's. It says her and her child are doing well. And I absolutely love that they added his son from a previous relationship in the announcement and said they could not wait to introduce the baby to his new big brother. I just think that is so sweet. I also really liked um, Princess Beatrice's personal uh, Twitter remark, you know, that the baby had a safe arrival. I just, I just love them. I, lots of blessings. There's nothing happier in this world or better in this world than bringing in a new life. Congratulations. Now on to the big story. Well, we already know that Oprah lost in her uh, bid to get an Emmy for the interview. That happened before the actual Emmys. Well, then we got to the Emmys and what happened? The Oprah interview and Harry and Meghan were mocked in the opening monologue by Cedric, who was the entertainer. Um, he was absolutely brutal. He put dig after dig. I was absolutely laughing my rear end off during it. And since Cedric is African-American, I'm waiting to see if Harry and Meghan call him a racist. That'll be the next thing. One of his jokes was how they needed baby Archie because Archie was going to have to teach the queen how to make TikTok videos. But the joke that literally had me ping in my pants was when he said that she must have done something to Harry because he gave up his crown faster than Eddie Murphy did in coming to America. There were people in the audience from the crown. You could tell they were a little, uh, just a little put off. But I just thought the mocking was well-deserved, especially when you consider who he was mocking too, right? The very people that Harry and Meghan want in their circle. Well, it's Finn update time. He decided to snuggle with me in bed. I've still got some COVID fatigue, so I, I spend a lot of time napping during the day, which is something I never did before. But anyway, I found his special spot right when my son walked in, so I told him to grab a video, and he did. Here you go. And also, FYI, the TV was running in the background, and it made the video not so good, so I've changed it a little. Now, here you go. So I started scratching, watch the leg. And I, I wasn't even really going that low down on his belly, but for some reason his leg just couldn't sit still. So I stopped for a minute to see what would happen. And then I started up again and there starts the leg again. 
So I would love to know your thoughts about all the information. What do you think about them coming back now and saying, oh, no, 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 it was the other ring. You misquoted us and then not even talking about the diamond. What do you guys think about Beatrice having a baby? Personally, I'm sure in a day or two, we're going to see an announcement from these two grifters saying that they sent private congratulations because they have to make sure everybody knows every move they make. And finally, what do you guys think about the two of them being roasted at the Emmys in front of the very people that they're trying so hard to get in with? Because Megan thought she was just going to zip in and go back to acting and all this other stuff that was going on. Instead, these same people were laughing at them. I just love that. And I love that because for me, that is karma at its best. Don't forget to leave your comments below. You know how much I love to read them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads and content. Don't forget you can email me at any time. I may not respond, but I read every email. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, you guys, have a great day.